Hello and welcome to the GitApps class. In this uh, miscellaneous class, we'll be uh, talking about uh, ultimate hack that you can use to save time uh, while doing your projects in GitApps. The hack goes like this: Whenever you go to your file and you go to new model, all right, uh, what do you do? You go for uh, which option? You go for use built-in settings with option. And because they're using IS codes, I have set all my IS codes over here. Okay, we do this every single time. We go for OK and we go for blank or grid only option depending upon if we're importing the plan or if we have some grids that we can use to create our modeling. We click on OK. Once this is done, now just look at this next four to five steps, right? Go for define material properties. What do you define? M25, M20 for your concrete beam and column and everything uh, for your slab. And then you define FE500, FE415. All right. The very first step is this. After which you go for section properties, go for frame sections. You define your beam column sections here. Then you come again. You define your uh, slab sections here again. Okay. Then you come again and then you go for load patterns. You define your wall load. Floor finishing plaster load. If there is a washroom, you have to apply separate load on that. You have to apply separate load there. Then your lift load, your live, uh, you know, terrace load, and everything. All those will come here. All right. Then we go for define and then go for load combinations. Now, whatever steps I have repeated so far, okay, right from being uh, metal property to session property to uh, you know load patterns and load combinations also. All these steps are to be repeated for each and every project, okay, which actually ends up taking too much of your time without you realizing about it. And even here, when it comes to load combinations, we have an option of adding default combinations also. But the thing is, those things are not accurate enough. Uh, you know, with respect to our codes, those things are not accurate enough. So you have to sit down and you have to define 30 to 35 different codes. Sorry, uh, combinations here, depending upon if you're, if you're including IS 193 or not. Okay. So these things will take too much time from project to project to project. So what I have uh, here is is a file. If you go for a file a new model and click on yes, or just click on cancel for a second. Uh, go to file. Okay. So when you're importing a new file, what you can do is instead of going for use built-in setting option, you can go for use setting from a model file option. Okay. We have never used this option before. All right. I'm showing it to you this for the very first time. Use settings from a model file option. You'll go and you click on OK. Here, what I have done is I have created a base file. Okay. When you open up this base file and it's the same again, if you want, if you have grids, you can draw grids, custom grids and everything. If you don't have that, you can just go for blank option and import the plan on your own. Okay. Let me click OK here. Now what happens if you go for your define metal properties, I don't have to define anything. See, by default, I have got M30, M25, HYSD 500 and 415 also. I even have M40 also, right? So this time is saved for me because I have already defined them. I have imported from a file. Uh, then you can go for session properties and you can see there are so many frame sections here. Okay. Use the ones that you want. Then go for delete multiple properties and get rid of the ones that you don't want. As simple as that. It will just take you two minutes instead of sitting and defining every single thing. Within a matter of two, two minutes, you can just delete the properties you don't want. And use the rest of the properties okay then you can go for your section properties again slab sections see you have got so many slab sections also in this all right after which you have got your uh, load patterns here okay i have defined all the wind wind patterns and even the earthquake patterns and everything i have defined all of them over here again this will end up saving too much of your time okay when it comes to the modeling phase then you go for define again and the best part is load combinations now you don't have to sit and define load combinations see from 0.9 to 1.2 to 1.5 to normal also okay factored unfactored cases all the cases i have defined over here so next time you're opening a project you can just open the base file okay and then you can just give your name and save it some other name you can give and save your uh, save the resave the file just go to file and go to for save as option and you'll be able to uh, you know save your file so always you can come back to this base file and have all of this data available for you okay you don't have to sit and define anything directly you can go if you have done the grid you can just start modeling your uh, you can take your bm and start uh, you know modeling it or if you have imported a plan, you can start working with it. Okay. This one option of load combinations will actually save you approximately five to six hours, depending upon how used to you are to importing data. Okay. If I just double click here, you can see this is how it looks. All right. Like this, I have defined each and every single combination over here. All right. So this will end up saving a lot of your time. Okay. So one more thing, one more question that generally students have is if I go for analyze, analyze, and if I go for, uh, uh, you know, set load case to run. Okay. Generally, if you go for define and go for your uh, load patterns, you can see I have defined wind also, I have defined earthquake also. Okay. But we know if you're running wind analysis, you don't do, you don't do earthquake analysis, right? And if you're doing earthquake analysis, you don't do wind analysis. It's either or one. Okay. So what you can do, do in that case is go for analyze, go to low, uh, set load cases to run, go to this option. And then what do you do? You just come here. For example, I don't want the, to run my earthquake analysis. So just click on do not run. Same thing. I have even, uh, you know, come down here. Response factor also I have defined here. So you can just click on do not run from here. Okay. Once you do this much, then you can just go and analyze your project. There is no problem with that. Okay. So if you want to get this file from me and want to save all your time and everything, 
all you have to do is download the app the app link is given in the description you can just email or you can just text me over there on the app i'll send the file over to you on your gmail so there are a couple of courses on the app and currently we are running a 33 percent discount on all the combo courses and even if this coupon code expires and you're seeing this video six months from now seven months from now just let me know that you have come from my channel and i'll provide the same coupon code to you for these courses provided that we are not running any parallel promotion during the same time okay so see you guys in the next class thank you